Hello everyone. We'll all be having like a, an old laptop that's like two or three years old, which starts to behave very slowly. Like, you know, when we bought this laptop, it was about three years back. It was booting up and working fine, very fast. But now over the period of time, the last three years, you know, it's gotten slower and slower. And now it takes nearly about seven or eight minutes by the time I switch it on, log in and go onto my browser page. By the time I'm able to start a browser and, and start browsing, it takes about nearly seven or eight minutes. Now, after I've done this one small, simple change, it boots up in like, you know, it's about 12 seconds by the time I get to a browser and start browsing. It's nearly 50 times speed that I've gained with just this one small change. You know, if there's one thing that's more precious than money, that's our time. And, you know, doing the small change could gain so much time for you on a daily basis. And we look at what the changes and how to do it. So this is the component that uh, slows down your PC over time. This is called as a hard disk drive or a HDD. And this, this has got so many moving parts. Usually it comes with uh, something called as an RPM revolutions per minute. There is a spinning head in it and it's got so many moving parts, which over time slows down and slows down your PC when data starts accumulating. Now this is the component that we're going to change and it's a very cheap change for making it in a laptop. Now, to find out whether you have a hard disk drive um, or a solid state device, you can go to device manager um, and click on the disk drives and you will find out whether it's a HDD, then it's a hard disk drive. Um, we're going to change it with an SSD, solid state device. So this is what a solid state device looks like. It has no moving parts. It's made up of something called as a NAND flash memory, which is basically you know, many times quicker than a, a hard disk drive. Because there is no spinning uh, head or there's no hard disk, there is no... Uh, physical components, it's actually much faster. You'll also need a USB cable for the first time to do the cloning. If somebody else has got an SSD cable, you can actually get it from them. This is an indicative cost that I have bought it from Amazon uh, for US, India and UK. You can buy it from a nearby shop if you have an electronic shop nearby or a computer shop nearby. I'm just giving this to you for a price reference. You can find it um, cheaper then you can get it locally also. You don't have to buy it from Amazon. Now I'm just showing you an example of how much time it used to take me for booting up and how much time it takes for, uh, you know, shutting down the laptop. Like, um, this is a quick snapshot, but you know, it will take like f nearly five minutes by the time I mean, you might have experienced this with your laptop over time. If it's a new laptop, it will be really fast and over time it will get slower and slower. Even for a simple shutting down, you know, it just, um, it just takes so much time. And sometimes, you know, sh the shutdown takes like nearly three or four minutes. And if you're in a hurry and you won't actually see whether it's shut down or not, you can't actually wait for the whole process. You leave the shutdown and you walk away. So I'll show you an example of how much this time, how much time this process takes after I've completed the step. Now I have bought uh, um, the brand Crucial for my solid state device. You can buy any brand, but this is more, um, it's got more ratings than the other brands. That's why I brought this. This is not a brand endorsement. This is not a paid product promotion. I've just bought it. Uh, because I like this product better than the other ones. Now the Crucial has one good advantage is that they have detailed YouTube videos of how to do this replacement on their um, web page. When you buy the product, they'll give you the link. Also, they come with a free software, um, which is the uh, cloning software that you need as the first step for um, starting with your SSD replacement. So we're going, to, we're going to completely replace the hard disk drive with their solid state device. So if you buy the Crucial um, solid state device brand, then they give you uh, the link to the free cloning software as well, which you need to install first on your laptop. So what this is going to do is basically it's going to create an exact replica or an exact clone of your hard disk on the solid state device. And this is the process that takes a bit of time. So first you need to install the software. The installation links and description is given if you're buying Crucial, they'll give you the installation links so you can save it to your uh, laptop and you can basically install this Acronis uh, cloning software. You don't have to use the Acronis cloning software. If you have a better cloning software, you can use that. So what we are going to do is we need this USB cable. So we, um, if you have a USB 3.0 port, it's actually much, much faster. Um, to identify whether it's a USB 3.0 ports, if you have multiple, that will be in blue color. Rest of the USB ports will be in black color. And the USB 3.0 port will be much faster and it will be in blue color. So the, the cable that we have bought and the links that I've given is a USB 3.0 cable and it will be much, much faster. So on one end, you'll connect the um, solid state device and on the other end, you'll connect it to the USB drive in your laptop. And once you connect to the laptop um, and we, you have the Acronis cloning software installed, 
the Acronis cloning software will detect the solid state device and basically give you the clone option where you can select the source as your uh, laptop hard disk drive and the destination as this um, solid state device that you are now connecting. And like I said, once you connect it uh, to a USB 3.0 drive, you will find that both the blue and the red light are blinking, which means that it has got enough power supply and is also connected and ready for the data exchange. Now at this point, um, you open up your uh, uh, Acronis software and it will detect your solid state device and it will proceed with the cloning process. And this cloning process is the one process that's going to take a long time. So sometimes it could take even up to a couple of hours depending on the amount of data that you have on your hard disk. So it's better that if you can back up and remove some of the uh, media on your device to a USB, normal USB drive, this cloning process will be a little bit faster. So that is another tip to follow if you want to make this process faster. Once you have done this, you are ready for the next step and you don't really need any technical skills for this. I have never done this part so far, even though you know I've worked in computer uh, for, a, for a while, I've never actually opened up a laptop myself. This is the first time for me as well. And it's quite easy. The first thing that you need to do is remove the rechargeable battery or remove the battery pack, which is normally detachable in a laptop. And once you remove it, press the power button so that it discharges any residual power. This is very important because you don't really want any residual power in the laptop when you're opening it up. Now take the solid state device and start opening up the laptop. Now for opening up the laptop, you need a precision screwdriver. Again, if you have one in the home, you don't need to buy it. But it's again very cheap. It's like, you know, four or five pounds on the internet. Or you can buy it from a nearby shop if you have one. Or you can borrow it as well because you just need it for one time. And carefully, you need to unscrew all the screws. And this is a bit tricky because some of the screws will be, most of the screws will be visible, but sometimes not all the screws are visible. So only when you have removed all the screws will be, be easier to actually take the casing out. Now in this laptop, I removed all the visible screws and uh, it was still not coming out. That's when I realized there are invisible screws behind this rubber padding, which is basically given to make sure that this laptop doesn't slip away. But underneath the rubber padding, um, as you can see here, when I remove the rubber padding, there are hidden screws, there are four uh, rubber paddings um, along the bottom of the laptop and below the rubber padding there are more screws that you need to unscrew. So make sure that you have unscrewed all of the visible and not visible screws. One thing that you need to be careful at this step is to make sure that you ground yourself. That you can do by just simply touching your fingers on this unpainted silver surface because your body will have static electricity and that could damage some of the sensitive equipment. So the only thing, that's the only thing that you need to be really careful about at this step. And uh, uh, replacing the hard disk with the solid state device is actually uh, easier because uh, the hard disk drive and the solid state device will be of equal size. And most um, common thing to do is basically look at your manufacturer's uh, video for more details in detail in terms of you know what you need to do in terms of replacing that hard disk. Because this is uh, to make sure that it snugly fits in and has no, it is not moving when you are actually doing it. So every uh, brand will probably have a different uh, tutorial for this particular step, but it's actually easy. It takes only about two minutes to replace this uh, hard disk with this solid state device at this point. Now I have done this and I have uh, um, um, started my laptop and I'm showing you how much time it takes. So as I said earlier, it takes about seven or eight minutes. Now I'm starting a timer here and I've just clicked on the power button and you know, I probably started it after three seconds on this timer. Now it's almost come to the login page already. And when I actually enter the password and click on enter, it's it's on in literally like two or three seconds. So end to end it takes only about 13 or 14 seconds roughly. Um, and then I can open the browser in literally a second. So now I'll show you how much time it takes to shut down as well. So I've started the timer here and I'm just going to go and click on the shutdown button. So as soon as I click on the shutdown button in about literally two seconds, um, it's not even showing this for two seconds, literally in like less than two seconds, it shut it down. And these are the links for buying the solid state device. If you've never done this before, the brand that you buy will also have detailed instructions. Now Crucial is a brand that I have bought. I'm not actually promoting this brand. And these prices are only for indicative purposes. Hope this was useful to you. Thank you. Bye.